Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. Oh, well, shit. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. <laughs> no shit, Carl. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Oh, God. That freaking picture is kind of freaking me out. That's like way too real looking. I don't like that. Alright. Let's take a guess a picture of the body. Man. Alright. I guess let's investigate. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead... Then who was going to pay him? <laughs> I mean, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. What could be inside that envelope? I don't Carl know. Was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. There's such a thing? As the Canadian Secret... I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, Mr. John Va. Uh, Vo, 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 Montreal. Okay, let's let's, let's go ahead and uh, take a gander. Oh wait, no, is it missing? Hamilton's murder. Uh, is it missing? Hold on, a cold mystery. Where's all the snow coming from? They say the fall is an unpredictable se is an unpredictable season, but this is something else. Hmm. Uh, the envelope torn open addressed to the Secret Service. If I remember correctly, this whole thing is more in intricate than it seems. Huh. So, not, not, not just a vandalism, you know, thing. Okay, I'm about to freaking... The place is a mess. You said it, Carl. You said it. Alright, where's that fucking radio? Where is it? An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Hey there, demons. It's me. Your boy. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Um... Where at? Sound like it came from out front. There's wolves. Oh god, why am I doing this? Something tells me those wolves aren't going to be too friendly to me. All right, well, before we <laughs> engage in any of that, uh, I guess it's more go into here and investigate more. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. No shit. <laughs> I, I love this freaking narrator. He's the most Canadian narrator I think I've ever heard in my life. Holy shit. Hmm, nothing. Guessing we have to maybe reset the generator before it's too late. We do have duct tape and some matches. Customer credit. Luis Blaze. Of that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Damn! Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Okay. That's a lot of freaking... Man. That's a lot of people to be owing a... Just a general store. Like, what? How do you even owe a general store? Like... Don't you pay for everything? Like, what? Okay. There we go. Hey man, take that. Poor you. Something tells me that's gonna come into play later. Can't get gas for my car even though it's still running. 
There is something up there, though. God, I cannot see. What is that? Sherry wine, huh? Yeah, no shit. I'm just trying to, like, look around here. Uh, wasn't there something on anything on the shelves? Dude, I'm gonna get cold, dude. Ah, oh, great. Is there a stove? Please tell me there's a stove. There's candy bars. Oh, no, that's not the candy bars. Those are fire starters. Same, same difference, right? Oh, I just say the same shit, just different angle. Okay. No thanks. Too many, I ate too many of those in re, in Korea. What friggin' beef jerky? Man, how can you not like beef jerky? Beef jerky is like one of the freaking greatest, greatest aspects of life. General store also serves as a post office for the locals. Huh. That's interesting. I've never quite seen that before. A nice picture of the Magasin Lachance store, seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time, from an era long forgotten. Hmm. <clears throat> Amateur hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years, Carl thought. Damn. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. <laughs> I like how Carl's just like, man, maybe maybe they just want to kill themselves. I don't know. Electricity turned off. Hmm. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Ah, uh, okay. So we have to go turn off the electricity at, in the... Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Huh. But was it about bears? Bear? Oh, wait, was that about bears? Are you kidding? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Huh. Okay. Prince? Oh, wait. Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? Dude, I'm getting cold. <laughs> Follow the tracks. Follow the tracks. Carl Follow the tracks. The store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Okay, I guess I'll freaking follow the tracks later then. Jesus. I'm sorry. Anything in the fucking toilet? Ew! Okay. Someone just freaking splooged in your toilet, dude. I don't know if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're dead, so you don't really care, but. <clears throat> you know. I want to get that checked out. Just an idea. Alright. Dude, how are you gonna be in fucking Canada without gloves? What is wrong with you, Carl? Carl! <laughs> Carl! Why? It's okay, I got. I got. I got a nice little light source here. With like a beach chair? The fuck? Well, it legit just looks like a beach chair. Alright, so we need to get to the garage. <clears throat> I think best way to do that. Maybe I can go around this way. Yeah, I can. Good deal. Just checking the garbage can. You never know. Ooh. Ooh, that's the nastiest looking garbage I think I've ever seen. Doesn't even have a bag in it. The fuck? Okay. I got a flashlight. I ain't afraid to use it. All right. 
the cleanest spot in the area. Ha 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 ha. Very funny, Carl. Very funny. Alright. This is a nice car, though. You know? Not too bad. The friggin' back is a bit rusty, but... You know? Sound like the friggin'... <laughs> Sound like the freaking Soviet Union anthem there for a moment. We got some pliers. What we're gonna do with those, I'm not sure. Got some hardware. Okay. Is there anything in the engine? Mm, doesn't look like it. Uh, Quebec, Quebec. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Well, then what do you expect me to fucking do, Carl? <laughs> All right. What do you expect me to do? Ew. What the fuck? Ew. Why is that doing that? Can I not open up the... The shit? So, okay, we need to figure out the power thing first, I suppose. Fix your generator. Oh, here, here we go. was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. There we go. Okay. Now let's head back in and maybe turn on the power in here. That way I can see. Okay, that's the okay. That's the store power, garage power. Okay, let's check out everything in the store first. Um, let's real quick. I thought that was something. Let's real quick go turn on the light. Oh, hold on. I don't think I. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Okay, that that is powering here. Oh, oh wait, holy shit. Secretary wouldn't need wouldn't be luxury in here. Okay. Cash register instructions. To open the cash register, press uh to punch the price, press sale, turn the crank two times, punch the machine if it doesn't work. I okay. I accidentally did that. Oops. Okay. Well you know. Just shows you what I can do. Quebec's Klondike. What we got here? Quebec's Klondike. Northern Quebec's economy is booming. North of Chibomgamau areas... Po <laughs> I, I can't say that word. Uh, areas population will soon reach 30,000 souls, among which thousands of happy families will be prospering thanks to the hard labor of their fathers, who will be contributing valiantly to expanding uh, Quebec's national wealth. Mines and hydroelectricity, hunting and fishing, the true Canadian dream. Turn it into your reality now. The mines, a sector in full expansion. Did you know that since 1960, Canada tripled the amount of resource royalties it collects? Did you know that the country's very true source of, of richness is lying under your very feet at this very moment? The building of our schools and our hospitals de depends on minerals, exploiting our resources, the road to our future. Okay. The Mount County of Manistan and its people wish to see you very soon. Hmm. I don't know if I like that that wording, you know? It's kind of it's kind of a little bit sinister, you know what I mean? Okay. This should turn on the lights, right? Am I fucking crazy? A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. <sighs> okay. Electricity turned off. Uh. <laughs> okay, electricity from the generator. 
What does this say? Explain that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay. So I want that. Garage can't have it. Now can I turn on the light? Oh, come on, man. Uh, maybe now power line? Ugh. What? <laughs> power? Okay, that's electricity from the generator, right? We do what we do, do you be the garage isn't getting any. Right? So the electricity should be coming into here, right? Unless I have to actually hold on, maybe maybe actually I do need to do something in the garage first. Perhaps. The poor thing was out of power. Okay, but like <laughs> I fixed the generator, did I not? Okay, hold on. What the fuck is going on here? Cause this don't this don't make no sense. Like I'm really trying my hardest here. But this game is like trying every opportunity to not have any of it. Torn paper, let it was in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Jeez. Uh, let it be known, you're nothing more than a brigand, a robber, a, gar a garbage hoarder, a viper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife to at my throat. Too bad for me, but... And then he died, I guess. Oh shit, dude. Okay, let me... Let me freaking figure this out. Never been the poor thing was out of power. Fuck me. Okay, what am I missing, dude? What am I missing? What am I missing? Is there something here? I'm very confused. The oh! murder weapon. What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Oh, that's the key to the freaking Everything box. Everything makes sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he mm. figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. It is as that's a... what happens to ordinary people playing spy. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty and the free economic chambers of the world that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is in grave danger. A member of my community, the Honorable. Yeah, the freaking garage and the... Okay, so maybe I was getting it wrong. Maybe that's on and off. Oh, I was. Oops, I was getting it complete. I thought, man, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was being fucking stupid. I apologize. Holy shit. I'm actually retarded. Holy crap. I am actually dumb. Holy shit. Yeah, now it's working. Look at that. Look at that. Fucking A. I am actually dumb. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's this? Uh, what's under here? Ah, crowbar. Okay. What do At I long use last, this for? Crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Oh shit! Surely it would come in handy at some point. All right. Well, that's uh, that's quite something. You know, I guess I guess I'll freaking pull that out when I need to, right? All right, so now let's do the opposite of that since we did that now. 
we can go ahead and do it the other way. I was reading them completely wrong. See, here's the thing, right? I was thinking, in my small little pea brain, that flicking them to the left meant that they were on, flicking them to the right meant that they were off. I don't know why I thought that was the case, but in my little pea brain, that's exactly how I thought it was. <clears throat> so, now, I have the generator. Come on, close the door. So now I should be able to go over here and turn on this light. Ha ha! Okay, where's this fucking... Shut that shit off, dude. Swear to God. Alright, well, I did come up here for something, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, there's like a mirror. Nope, nothing. Alright, I just, I guess I just came up for the sherry, which I don't know why, but okay. Uh, now, we can go ahead and pump our gas. Get our free gas, dude. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, fuck you. Mm, bitch. Why'd you have to die on me? <laughs> I can't believe you committed suicide. I can't believe... <laughs> if you guys know what that's from, then, then you a real G, dude. You know, if you know what that line is from, then you know what's up. Am I gonna just put gas in my car while it's running? What? I guess so. Just while it's running, dude. <laughs> A uh, little, uh, friendly, friendly tip for you. Don't ever do that. Oh yeah, that's right, I was gonna... With this list, all that was left to do was to sort out the bandits and the honest citizens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. search the village. Uh, I did want to look, though, at these tracks. Because they seem to be leading me somewhere quite interesting. What the hell? Is that a person? I'll keep it. That is legit just a person frozen I wondered out here. what the hell could that thing be? It's a guy. It like a man fossilized in ice. What? All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world what of dreams. What the fuck? A cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. Uh... He's running! What the hell is going on? Mysterious journal. To all appearances, this was a hunting law. Better yet, a war diary. The, s the beasts enjoys long slumbers. Its sanctuary seems impregnable. Ice is everywhere. I need to exercise patience and wait for it to come out. To think like a hunter. The beast often invades the settlements bordering the lake. It terrorizes the white people. They never see it coming, but they feel its presence. A cold dread grabbing at your innards. The beast excites the wolves, makes them more aggressive. One attacked me, I had to cut its throat. The blade digging into its flesh made the sound of, ta of a taut wire. The beast is getting closer to the villagers. It moves at night, bringing heavy snow and, long and strong gusts of wind along with it. I tracked it to no avail. I don't know what the white man... I do not know the white man frozen in ice, but I do know this. It is the work of the beast. It attacks, curl the blood of its victims. White men know nothing of this force of nature. I touched the ice imprisoning the white man. I saw things, but I do not understand them. Oh shit. It was as if past and present were one. 
or as if I were as I was a spider and with my eight eyes I could see backward and forward simultaneously. This beast, this creature, is not of this world. I must find the beast again, and if necessary, eliminate it. Ah, she. What a could necklace. these engraved numbers mean? Seven three nine. A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Seven three nine. Huh. Oh, he's running. Oh, shit. Oh, they didn't tag him. He's good. He good. Keep running, my dude. You can make it. <laughs> I believe. What is going on? What Carl the? had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Jill Lachance, the general store Jill manager Lachance. himself. Oh. What the hell? That is bizarre. Does he have anything else in his car? That had to be the worst parking job ever. <laughs> Who was Carl to judge, though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts. Or not. Oh, narrator, you you silly dog, you. Uh, Alright, so let me look at my map real quick. Okay, so we need to apparently, looks like, go to each estate and, like, check out What's all going on with them? I guess I can do that. Alright. Yeah, because, okay. So I guess we'll go see... Blaze first? Bla Blaze? 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 Something like that. I guess we'll go see him first. Since he's closest. Or actually... Would it be better for me to, um, go backwards? Hmm. Maybe it would. Maybe it would be better. Hold on. Maybe it would be better for me to go... Oh, wait, no, no. Don't step out. No, no, no. Don't step out. Okay, um... Yeah, maybe it would be better for me to just go the other way. So that way I can go and check out the, uh... The other estates. Behind me, before I go. Because there's three behind me. So yeah, that'd probably be the smartest move, it looks like. Alright, let's get out here. And I guess, uh, go check it out. Yeah. What's this one? Hold on, oops. What's this one called? Uh, Le Chan. Or Le Chan. Le Chance? Le Chance? Le Chance? I don't know. Oh, it's loading. <laughs> Loading up the, the house, I bet. I bet there's something in those woods. Um, however, I am just going to go check out the house for now. If something else catches my eye, I'll definitely go and investigate. Um, but for now... What the hell? 